Good afternoon and happy Mother's Day. Uh, today is the 10th of May and it's Mother's Day, well I'd say all around the world. And for those of you who are watching, if you have a mom and uh, I hope you've remembered them today, put some smile on their face. Um, today we're going to talk about beating COVID-19 because mom said so. Um, mothers have been very important in my life and I'm sure they're very important in your life. And today we are tested um, about certain things our moms taught us when we were kids. Uh, I would say like my mom, many of the things that I follow today with the social distancing, cleaning of hands and so on, were drummed into me a long time ago because my mom was a nurse. Actually, she still is a nurse. Nurses never retire. They, are, they have that job for life. Um, and, and, and one of the great things about that is that you always remember the good advice mom would give us uh, in terms of keeping clean, washing our hands, uh, before you know before eating after coming out of the toilet when you're coming out of from outside the home uh, also keeping our clothes clean changing our clothes having our work clothes as work clothes and home clothes as home clothes and a few other things yes because she was a very strict matron both in hospital and at home i have a couple of notes which i want to share for how uh mothers beating covid 19 and um, remember mother mother knows best that was okay it was not a good movie the, the mother knows best one but mothers know best how to put you in line number one uh, and i'll say to my mom I, I remember you telling me wash your hands uh, before eating wash your hands when you come out from the field wash your hands after coming out of the toilet number two she used to say don't go there you can get sick you know, like, it's not a clean place. Don't play in the dirt. Don't play in the mud. Don't play in the drains. Whatever, you don't play there. Don't swim in that water. It'll make you sick. Also, sleep is a rest. It is not a break. So you sleep to rest. You don't sleep as a break. Sleep early. It's one of those things. Eat your greens. Finish your food. And when you when you are about to get spanked by the muiko, it would be no oyo, and the muiko would soon follow. What up? Yeah, uh, and and then she would also make a point of saying, finish your food because you know the rest of the world is starving, and you are here wasting food. And even the days we used to pray, you know, the prayers would be you, you wouldn't say short prayers. You'd have to say kind of medium prayers because you said long prayers. She would most likely tell you, who do you think you are? You know, and now you're going to start praying for everyone. The food will go cold. And then another very famous saying for one of my, like my stepmom or my aunties used to be like, cold food is not interesting. So, <laughs> and um, uh, you are what you eat. And I can bear witness to that. A, a lot of many statements. Um, in my mom's office, there was a famous statement that was written, do one thing at a time. And all these things that, that uh, uh, have been drummed into my life at an early age, they become useful today because when 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 the message comes for you to keep your hands clean i did not need to be trained for that i just needed to remember why it was important to keep our hands clean how why it was important to keep a safe distance you know you'll go don't go there you'll get sick uh why it was important to 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 practice um like staying at home unless it's absolutely necessary i say you know you stay home you know staying home is a break it's safer when you're at home so things she used to say and not that it was it was like uh, you know stay home because out there there's a devil or something no 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 it was more for your own good and today on mother's day i just want to remind all of us that mothers have been part of our lives and we need to return a big hearty thanksgiving to them and let them know that they are loved and they are remembered and their advice still lingers and is powerful today so if you have a mom out there or you know a mom out there that needs a helping hand in terms of uh, encouragement during these dark times of covid19 send them a care package send them if you have extra masks send them an extra mask if you have extra food send them some extra food 
this mother took care of some kids and we're all grown up right now. So we take this moment to say thank you. Happy Mother's Day to all mothers out there. God bless and keep you well. And we look to see you in the next episode of Beating COVID-19. Today, it was a Mother's Day special. Have a good day.